With a rope? What's in the bag? Spaghetti hoops. Were you gonna kill yourself? Two bags were. You ever had a sale? I thought you might like some. Cause it kinda looks like you're gonna kill yourself. That's still a lot of spaghetti hoops. I was considering it. What, buying spaghetti hoops or? No, the other one. Shit. In the fucking hallway? Well, yeah? So you're telling me I was gonna come in after a long day, spaghetti hoops in hand, ready to watch the Bake Off, and find my housemate dangling from the fucking chandelier? In the fucking hallway? Shit. I didn't even think about that. I, I mean, I did try a few of the places. Shit. I don't get it, Pete. All this. Oh, come on, mate. Don't start. This has nothing to do with you. It's been a really tough... No, the hallway. Like, the rope. Why a rope? What's, what's wrong with rope? Well, it's a bit... Well, isn't strangling meant to give a feeling of euphoria? Like lack of oxygen or something? Common misconception. Hanging doesn't strangle you. It snaps your neck. Shit. Mm. Maybe I should have researched that a little bit more. I mean, OD at the very least. Don't have any paracetamol. Well, go buy some. They only sell you one pack at a time. Oh, yeah. I bet that's why they do that. <laughs> I wonder how many people they've saved. And I'm not slitting my wrists. <laughs> Ain't got the balls for that. And I'm not throwing myself in front of a train. I don't want to be that guy. Too right. Dickhead. Yeah. It takes a special kind of prick to make your last goodbye. They fuck you to the Monday morning commuters. I don't really have access to a tall building. How would you do it? Toilet. Full metal jacket style. <laughs> Where am I going to get a gun in... Fucking Greenwich. Ah, true. I mean, in the movies, they, they've got those things that, that go across the ceiling. Like, uh, they're wooden, sometimes metal, uh, and like supporters. Like a beam? Yeah, but more like a. No, I guess you're right, it is a beam. So, your next best shot was the chandelier, was it? Well, yeah. You do realise that's not going to support your weight. What? It'll come down with you. <laughs> no, it won't. Oh, she's overdone her quiche. I reckon she's gonna be out next week. Did you leave a note? A note? Yeah. Well, people do that, don't they? Like a goodbye or. I made a video. You made a video? Oh. That's nice. Can we watch it? Can we not? Seems a shame to let it go to waste. It'll be fucking awkward. Or maybe it'll be fucking therapeutic. <sighs> it's on the desk. Just there. What? Uh, just there. I can I can see it from here. What a DVD? It's the video. You put it on a DVD? So? Suicide DVD. That doesn't sound right. I tried to kill myself. It's a tape. Like, it's always a tape. That's the tradition. Not everyone has a VCR these days. Has it got chapter selection? Plus, the only tape I've got is The Lion King, and I can't record over that. Bonus features. Director's commentary. I mean, what if right after it finished, it cut straight to Hakuna Matata or just can't wait to be king? <laughs> Can you feel the love tonight? Man, that film has some great songs. Absolute masterpiece. Although it would sort of undermine the whole suicide thing. I don't know. 
Circle of life could work. I mean, I did record it on my phone first, and then I realised that people wouldn't know the password. Don't be a dick. No, sorry. So I've, I've, I've never really done this before. Um, uh, my name's Peter Wright, and uh, I guess this is my, my goodbye. Mum, um, you've been great. Thanks for, for everything. And um, sorry about this um mrs buxton i hate your cat like i hate your cat if you're gonna take a transatlantic cruise every easter then maybe think about paying for a real cat sitter yeah because i resent putting aside 20 minutes a day to feed that ugly animal it's old it smells bad, and I wish I'd told you sooner. You're getting a bit off track. Sorry, no, I'm, I'm getting off track. Yeah, you um, are. Andy, I feel like we should have hung out more. Why did I mention? No, 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 here it comes. And Jenny? Jen, uh, feels weird saying this, but... Um, I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh, that's nice. It's a bit gay. I mean, it there. isn't. That is weird, though. Like, imagine if you actually... Like, that would have been can the last will? thing you said to me. In a video? Is You're this, kind of on borrowed time right now. Is this legally binding? If so, I'd like it if my stuff went to charity. Um, if someone could sort that out, that would be great. Um, children in need. If you uploaded this. What? Christ, no. No, think about it, Pete. Right now, you get to see what happens after you die. No one gets that opportunity. That's crazy. But that way, even if you do, like, you'd be able to see how it would have played out. Jen. Are you seriously going to tell me you've never wondered what people might say? You've never been curious? Sure, Adam is probably going to be sad, but what about Jake Simmon from Sixth Form? Who is going to surprise you? Who's going to cry at your funeral? And who's going to just post R.I.P. on your Facebook wall? Well then let's fucking do it! Mate, I think you're overreacting. Four people! Only four people! I thought it was five! Either way. This is it. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, I've heard that before. For real this time. They say that suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Then again, it could be a permanent solution to a permanent problem. Now, <laughs> if you fuck it up, it could be a temporary solution to a permanent problem. I don't know what it is about being suicidal that makes people treat you like a fucking six-year-old. 
fuck, let's be honest. It is a bit of shit. Is it really that surprising that the thought of suicide crosses our minds every now and then? That little voice that tells you to jump. Those moments when you remind yourself how thin the line is. And it's easier to shut them down, to suppress them, slap a big suicidal label on anyone who dares to say them out loud. But are they not the most human thing? Reminding yourself that you have control over your fleeting little life, if nothing else. But, if you kill yourself right now, kids are still gonna go to school, get their lunch money stolen. DFS are still gonna have another one-off half-price winter sale. Prepubescent teens are gonna fuck up their first time and still brag about it to their friends. The clocks will keep ticking. You know, in this great nation of ours, about 14 people kill themselves every day. Is that what you ought to become? A number? Part of a number? A fucking tally on a fucking spreadsheet? Filed away somewhere deep in the Office of National Statistics. <laughs> Until some entrepreneurial fuckwit digs it out in a half-baked attempt to convince us all that we need to invest in his pricey safety initiative. Or a stat some teacher sticks in her assembly slideshow. Just to remind the kids that the school has a counselling team. If 10 minutes of circle time and a colour coordinated leaflet on dealing with stress is really going to tip the balance. Because you're right. You don't matter. Not in the grand scheme of things. Well, I mean, like I'd miss you, but then I'm going to fucking die. Bill Murray, Mrs. Buxton's cat. That racist man at the end of my road. None of it matters, not in the end. Except Bill Murray, he is a treasure. But still, a hundred years from now, you and I are going to be nothing but a few faded photos in a shoebox and an abandoned Facebook profile. Or maybe Facebook will be dead and all. Ultimately, it's all pointless. But then what does that even mean? As a species, we seem obsessed with finding a purpose, a point to everything. But maybe there isn't one. Or maybe there is, and this is it. Kill Peter Wright if you have to, but don't kill yourself. I'd jump on the next Eurostar to Belgium. Leave all this behind. Pursue a life as a chocolatier in the rural tranquility of Derby. I learn a new language. Marry the local barmaid with the massive tits and grow old in a thatched cottage. Can you imagine? Your grandkids would love you. You'd be like Willy Wonka to them or something. No, but I'm serious. Is that not better than dying? If you really were committed to the idea of saying goodbye, then surely you have the conviction to pack up and start fresh. I know you're not religious, but the way I see it, you have three options. Either you meet your maker and find out that suicide's a sin, so good luck with that. Alternatively, you're reincarnated as a mosquito and find out that your best efforts were wasted. Or you assume that this is the one shot we get. Stick it out for a bit. See what happens. <laughs>